It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks very much for joining us. Josh is going to scat for us right now. This is my favorite part of the show. Nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lovely. Nice. A syllable selection. Now do some rectal Kleagles. Kleagles? <laughs> That's a, That's a, a lighting. <laughs> lighting's involved. Didn't rectal Kleagle play guitar in the doors? <laughs> that was Robbie Kleagel. Uh, sorry, uh, Kegel. The, the point is we're back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's Josh. There's Chick. I'm Tom. Krieger. Josh, uh, <laughs> Robbie Krieger. Yes. Uh, the, uh, what in the hell? Where was I? Um, oh, I know. I was saying that Josh is at the uh, IHateStevenSinger.com sidekick chair. Got till noon today to get to IHateStevenSinger.com. Get that stuff fixed up for you for Valentine's Day. Christy Lee is in the Navy Hi. Federal Credit Union newsroom. Pat Godwin is, uh, you okay, Pat? I'm okay, yeah. All right. No, Pat's having a, he had a great day going, a huge week, and then. Yeah, I had a lead going. Oh, boy. Boy. And then you the, did not. Would you quit? Make, yeah. You keep, keep make it worse, Tom. Your mind. Keep going over it. Uh, Tom you. does. I heard something in the hallway that infuriated. Me too. Uh, go ahead. I heard it too. Go on. Uh, Pat, usually it's funny when you mess up. <laughs> yeah. uh, this time it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. no. I go, Pat, oh, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, there's no harm in starting over. Just stop and start fueling, over. Fueling the fire. Yeah. Yes. That is his That's your, you are killing That's the man. That's your best friend. Paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> exactly he's never left. So hard in his life. Look at him. <laughs> I knew Josh was going to hear it because I could see him peeing in the room. And I thought, oh, this will make Josh laugh. Have no, you ever heard the happened. term emotional <laughs> abuse? <Yeah. laughs> mm. From a lot of pansies, I have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Way to go, of, bully. Yeah. A lot of pansies. <laughs> your children. Yeah, yeah. The people that love you and care for you. You can't when take it. When you're not it. in this room. Okay. Uh, Christy, what yes. have you got over there? A pizza chain in New Zealand is offering vibrators with pizza orders as part of a Valentine's Day promotion. That's right. Pizza. The restaurant is, is New called... New Zealand accent? No? Okay, sorry. Oh, kind of. The restaurant is called Hell Pizza. Hell? Hell. H-E-L-L. H-E-L-L. Double hockey, hockey sticks, sticks is giving away free vibrators to customers over the age of 18 who order oh. at least one double pizza through its dedicated app. According to the New Zealand Herald, the promotion is part of a collaboration with the adult toy megastore. Oh. And this is not the first time Hell Pizza has done a risque campaign. Oh boy. In 2006, the company received hundreds of complaints huh. after dropping about 170,000 condoms into people's letterboxes to promote its Lust Pizza. Hell Pizza, their slogan is the best damn pizza in this life or the next. Oh, I wow. like it. I do too. So, they're, they're, so this, they're, this time you're getting a dildo with your pizza? What is it? Yeah. A vibrator, yeah. Yeah. So oh, they're, so they have to have something about um, you'll come in 30 minutes or less. I mean, I'm sorry. We'll come in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got I got to work in this joke. Someone's going to come in 30 minutes or less. Uh, is, the, is that Domino's that does That's that? That's Domino's. Well, sorry, it was okay. Domino's. They dropped that. I heard that during the beginning of uh, COVID, they started changing their offerings a little bit. Uh, yeah. You could either get a pizza in store or they would sell you a frozen version to cook at home. They called it Hell Freezes Over. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See when they're when they're too good, <laughs> that, that, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> that sounds like a really good idea. They have uh, the specials on their website. It says uh, Valentine's Day from Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, We've all had good. one of those. Yeah, right? <laughs> we ever. How's, how do the pies look? Good? Pizza, burger, pizza. Burger pizza is back. Freaking delicious, they say. It helps. Oh, look at the picture of this. Holy hell. <sighs> look Looks at delicious. that. delicious. Look at, oh. uh, look at the size of that. You don't meat. like a, a burger pizza? You ever no. had one of those? Oh, that's very good. Cheeseburger pizza? Oh, sure. Cheeseburger pizza? Sure. Yeah. It's it a sounds great like idea. people outside of America trying to be too American and they just think that we're a bunch of pizza burger eating idiots. <laughs> I well, beg to differ. Well, you kind of, kind of are. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, we had a, some friends of ours opened a pizza place many years ago that has gone on to become a huge success. Um, in fact, I was just reading in a national magazine, they were interviewing a guy, and he was in the NFL, and he was saying that one of the things he missed the most about our town was this particular pizza group. Oh, Are you talking exactly. about your papa? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the story is uh, uh, yeah, we, tried, we tried to name it, and we came up with um, calling it Pizza Ass. <laughs> 
And uh, we had. We Fortunately, had, they didn't go with that. Yeah, they didn't go with pizza ass. No. Is it and, enjoy a pizza ass today? That kind uh, of yeah. Thing? Oh, there was. Oh, we had. We had figured uh, out several clever uh, well, sure. ways to word that. And then, of course, they'd have they'd have their donkey as their as their mascot. They didn't use any of our ideas. Well, I don't blame them. And then we had tried to have a donkey as a, a comedy club right? mascot. Yeah. Oh, that was a. I loved the, that. The one. donkey Jack and the the uh, the MC for the evening would help Jack off the the donkey and something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's not <laughs> exactly how it worked. But that's not. The, yeah, that's not the right uh, term. They, they would have the comedy club's <laughs> official donkey. Where was this, Tijuana? <laughs> no, no, no. It was in uh, Louisville. I told you, I only middle. I never host that club. No. I do not want that donkey. Is that where you were this weekend? Oh, no. I was just oh, doing okay, a okay. joke off. Um, yeah, that, that was a... Uh, Help him off stage. No, wait what, what, what was the name of the club? We, we, we tried to rename it. It was in Louisville. Was it Lexington? It was like... Comedy no, caravan? No, it was no. in Louisville. Is it caravan or off a street? Yeah, it was something about... Uh, they the, changed the comedy caravan, didn't they, to something else? Or it was like the derby? comedy caravan and then the caravan comedy, and then there was on Broadway and off Broadway in Lexington. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, we, but we, we tried to change it to the donkey or something, and it was... Yeah, the, the donkey was laughing, named Jack. Laughing donkey. That's right. That well, the, the, laughing, the laughing donkey. And it goes Terrible, a little something man. like this, evidently. <laughs> uh, off-putting, uh, off-putting, uh, unappealing. Uh, no, but the, the, the notion was, uh, you, 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 we'd introduce the, the, the uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the, the headliner. Oh, the, headline. the headliner. Yes. And oh, uh, the, the owner named Jack would ride a donkey up on stage. Yes, that's uh, it. Yeah, the owner would have to help Jack. And so uh, the, the, the our headliner, yeah. Josh Arnold, is going to help Jack off the donkey. <laughs> that right. Is, that is real stupid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, we had a good time before you got here. It's <laughs> in the hole. It's in the hole. Okay. Are thank you just you hitting much. random things now? <laughs> no. Oh, it's in the hole. Playing whack a mole over there? Oh, it's spaghetti me. time. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. <laughs> Classic Tom and Shit. Oh, wait a minute. There's the, there they are, the girls. We have um, uh, the lovely Jessica Alsman looking radiant today. Oh, I thank you. With the beautiful lighting behind you. Who, how come everyone else looks better than we do? They they really do a nice job on the lighting. And oh, there we have it. Oh, I, oh, oh I, I don't know where she is again. It's uh, it's a, it's Allie Breen. That's not your New York apartment. Atlanta. No, oh. no, I'm Florida this time. That looks like a hotel. I've, yeah, I'm in terrible hotel lighting, so you can't give me the same compliment. No, it either. wasn't the lighting. It's the hideous uh, artwork behind you. Yeah, it's that. It's terrible. I like those horses. Um, <laughs> <it's> horses. <laughs> those are horses. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was one. You just couldn't see their heads. I thought it was those kids with big eyes or something. Remember those? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. oh those are creepy. Yeah, those are those were creepy. creepy. Yeah, there's a very poorly made movie about them. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's a great I story. Oh, I remember that. It's a great story. Did Ter you sit through that too? Terrible movie. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, the the woman had done all the work, and the guy took all the credit. Yep. And they took one of the best actors in the world, and somehow made a terrible movie out of it. Mm. I forget the name, but uh, Allie Breen Big is eyes. our guest. Um, what was it called? Yeah, hey guys. Okay, yeah. Allie Breen is our guest. Allie is uh, our um, resident, uh, if you will. I guess yeah, actually, she's our non-resident um, uh, woman who travels the world, finding out about uh, young hearts <laughs> and other body parts. As they uh, maybe we should title that. Title that. Uh, young hearts and body. Young parts. hearts and other body parts. Young hearts and Not young bad. body parts. Um, and um, you get letters from people, but they, they find you at Allie Breen and all social media platforms, and it's A L L I B R E E N. And let's just start right Perfect. off, Allie. What have you got today? Sure, dear Allie, my girlfriend is on OnlyFans and obsessed with the attention she's getting. She won't let me look at other girls' OnlyFans because she says that would be cheating, but that what she's doing is fine because it's all about getting paid. I think it's worse. What do you think? No, Josh, you were telling me about this. I'm not quite... OnlyFans is like porno? Kind of. It's a, a girl can have an OnlyFans page and charge uh, a monthly subscription for it. It's like an R-rated Instagram. Yep, that makes sense. Maybe, is it maybe, R? Maybe even X-rated. It was like X. Yeah, it can yeah. be X-rated, sure. So they can either It's just... like amateur porn. Yeah, there are Isn't also it? real porn stars on there, too. Are they oh, by themselves okay. or with other people? They can... Uh, th yeah, they can have scenes with other people. Oh, Mm -hmm. And then you can pay for those or whatever. So, so, so is it worse if a guy is looking at someone's OnlyFans than if they're just looking at porn? May, some girls may think so because you can directly communicate with them on OnlyFans. Let me ask you this. Oh. Do, you, do you pay each person individually or do you buy like a blanket thing so you can go everywhere on this? Each uh, person individually. Oh, okay. Well, so you could make some serious cash then. Yeah. So let's say a girl has a page on there and she has um, 100 subscribers and she's paying. they pay 10 bucks a month. 
then she's walking away with a thousand bones just for showing her boobs and butt. Huh. Yeah. Well, do you want do you want everybody to see your girlfriend's boobs and butts? I don't know if many guys. I guess some guys care. Uh, I think me, most guys care, don't they? For me, it would be like, hey, you get so. to look at them, I get to be with them. Okay. Right. That, that sounds like a porn director boyfriend's <laughs> attitude. <laughs> uh, she brings that home to me. Right. Yeah, but honestly, I think I think that's yeah. a much healthier way to be than the, no, she's mine, and I'm the only person that gets to but look at her. And yeah, In this case, she should, she should. I'm envisioning someone like this, Josh. Um, uh, look, give me a name of this uh, sweetie that's yours in the, in the scenario in your head. Just give me any name. Go pick ahead. Tina. Uh, pick you Tina. pick one. Sir, Teresa. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> I'll tell you why that's funny in a minute. I, I know why. <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason I said it. Yeah. Hot little Teresa. Uh, Josh, uh, Josh, Josh too, comes Josh. in because Josh is uh, Josh is is, is uh, an enlightened man. He understands mm -hmm. how this works. Uh, Teresa, I saw what you were doing last night on your fans only page. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to have some fun tonight, I figure after the workout you got last night, we're going to need this because I cannot do what uh, I was witnessing last evening. Wow. Uh, so wow. Is it only fans or fans only? <laughs> only only fans. fans. Okay. Yeah. And are they only all porn? Only fans. Or? No, I, there are comedians on there. You there seem are, to be upset by this, Josh. No, I'm I'm upset with this morning in general. So I've just, uh, <laughs> don't let my don't let this morning's demeanor affect what I'm saying. Sorry. What happened to Joshy? Uh, like seven on? things. Seven. Oh. And now I'm getting I'm getting the worst hate mail because I made fun of some story about a guy who had a, a cat filter. It's true. And it's the least interesting thing that's ever happened. No, yeah. it's very and now funny. Idiots Listen, from yeah. around the country are telling me I've never been funny in my life. Wait a minute. Now. <laughs> oh. If your opinion of me, if you, if you, if you like that cat video, you. Your opinion literally means nothing. Yeah. And also, mm. I to say, telling a comedian they're not funny, that is going for the jugular. You can't do that. Oh, no, no. I, I, I may sound angry. It has zero effect on me. Okay. Your, people, no, no, your no, no. words mean nothing No, I, I, it's having an effect, Alex. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm right. I You're think it's having, having a effect. big effect. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you uh, want a hug? Maybe nah, I just want to go home. Sometimes, <laughs> don't, you just, hug job. sometimes don't you just hate your job? This will make <laughs> you feel better. Those moods. This will make you feel better, Josh. No, it won't, but go yeah. ahead. Oh. <laughs> See, now you're prejudging. Mm. Oh, gee. Uh, someone needs to turn Josh into a cat filter for the rest of the show. <laughs> wow. Just Watch me slit my own happens? cat throat. <laughs> <laughs> I make more lives. You can't help it. You're being funny, even though you don't want to be. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, no, no. According to the internet, I've never been funny. Uh, Fred writes, I think Josh is a genius. Hey. Well, thank you, Fred. Except when it comes to this cat. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, do you know what we're talking about? There was I a, do. I thought it was cute. Yeah, there's I just a, hate I stuff like this. I hate it. You it, hate feel good stories, Josh. That's not. There's nothing <laughs> feel good about no, it. No, you've got a bunch of serious men dealing with a legal issue. There, the, the as Chick pointed out, the other two lawyers look. They have, they're humorless and oh, bored. They're so sour. And they're, oh. they're dealing with some really serious matter, and it's everyone's miserable. And all of a sudden, by mistake, this no. guy's got a talking. The cat. only reason this stuff goes viral is because people hate their own lives and they're tired of their own jobs, and they send this stuff around to get a minute of of hope of joy. and happiness. Of joy. <laughs> And it's bull. No, it's helpful. Uh, I don't think so. Just ask this guy. Steven writes, <laughs> you guys were talking about a place called Cumming, Georgia. I own a hunting property in Seaman, Ohio. Uh. <laughs> Seaman, Ohio. I wonder if they have a post office there. Who wouldn't like to have semen all over your mail? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Oh, sorry. A hunting company. Not at all. He's got a hunting. You, you think there's a semen shooting range? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the letter, Stephen. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Allie. We we've do we have another letter? Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Absolutely. Have we Dear done Allie, yet? I, my, okay, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, did we solve the OnlyFans? Uh, it, don't worry so about he, it. He can't look at OnlyFans. But she, she should can lighten up. Do OnlyFans. She should lighten up. If she's yeah, going to she do it, he him. could look. Yeah. All right. I guess it's no different than porn. The interaction <laughs> would bother me maybe a little. Mm. If someone looked at someone's OnlyFans who they knew in. 
like I was on a coming down to Florida. There was a girl in my row who was so attractive, and there were three guys sitting next to her that kept asking her if she had OnlyFans, oh. which is just a way to be like, "Can I see you? Can I pay to oh see you?" Oh my gosh! That's really awkward. That, yeah. that is awkward. Yeah. That's really brazen. Whoa! They asked her live. Yeah, and, yeah that's that's weird. <laughs> These guys sound yeah. like dirt bags. <laughs> <I'm> seriously. <laughs> Oh. They also asked at the beginning of the flight, so then this poor girl had to sit there for three hours. Oh. <laughs> wow. But, eesh. all right, dear Allie, my girlfriend and I have sex four or five times a week. Last month for about a week, she avoided seeing me at either of our places, and we just had dinner out one time. In other words, no sex. Hmm. Then we went right back to our normal schedule. At first, I thought something was wrong, and then I started thinking about it, and I think she might have been avoiding me because she had an STD. Oh. Should I directly ask her or just try to get by it? You know what? Maybe she had too much pop and she had a yeast infection and she was sparing you. You're welcome. That can... can drinking too what? much soda can give what you happened? a yeast you don't infection? Drink water. I didn't you can, know that. You can either. upset everything. Or maybe no. she wore her yoga pants too long and she got a little steamy down there and got an infection. She was oh. sparing you and didn't want to tell you because hey, you think she was go. dirty. Oh. Excuse me. You're drinking too many Everybody. details. Right? Sorry. Yeah, I think this is... I'm a fan of the yoga wow. pants. I don't want to now think of someone's bacon bread. You don't want to be in there too long. When you say steamy... I don't care if we curse or not. I don't want to hear steamy ever again. <laughs> they are compression. They hold everything I don't in. Either. Everything. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know. If I had a yeast infection, I'd be. Yeah, I have an yeast infection. We're not having sex this week. I mean, <laughs> thank you for telling me. That's yeah. what I. Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought you yeah. were baking cookies. Yeah. Oh. I mean, so maybe she did have an STD. I don't know. We're heavy flow. Maybe it was. Yeah, no. it could be anything, yeah, right? Or what? Could have been what heavy the? flow. I did. She know. was great in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> heavy flow. Wasn't she one of the uh, gorgeous gals of wrestling? Uh, yes, I was just, I was just <laughs> I thank you. Gorgeous I ladies was, of wrestling. I was trying to think of that. I thought heavy flow. Heavy flow the, and glow? I thought she did the insurance commercials for Monster Trucks. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, okay, next flow. next letter, please. We're talking with Allie Breen, A L L I B R E E N. I say that because you can find her on all social media platforms and an estate near you, uh, depending on what day of the week it is. And, um, Dear Allie, my best friend has been engaged for seven years, but her boyfriend won't get married and insists it's the exact same thing. I think this is crazy and unfair to her, right? She won't push him, but I think I'm going to start doing it. Okay, wait Good a minute. Start that again. Read the, <laughs> begin that letter again. So her best friend has been engaged to her boyfriend for seven years. Yeah. And he's planning on never getting married because he thinks it's the same thing as just being engaged. And she thinks this is unfair and disrespectful. So she wants so to put her nose in. Yeah. It's none of her damn business. Yes. Plus, maybe yeah. the girl's happy just being boyfriend girlfriend. She doesn't want to get married either. I doubt that. Yeah. Oh. Judging by the tone of Whoa. the letters, no, 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 no. I'm saying she's saying to her friend, <laughs> she's I can't, be I can't believe Robbie won't finally marry me. You know what? Do it. Get yourself involved. Tell, tell, <laughs> tell, yes. tell yes. these two other people how to live their lives. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Go up in a high building and say, if you yeah. two don't get married, yeah, I'm going to throw it. myself off. And that is not that. By the way, nowhere near the record. What did you say? Seven years. Right. Yeah. Oh, we have a friend that's yeah, been Yeah, Christy engaged. and I have a friend that is, I 30, think... 30, probably? 30 oh, years? Oh, God, entering decade three. Yeah. Well, after seven years, aren't you technically common law married? Ten. Depends what Most state states, you're yeah. in. Yeah, that's right. Depends on what Good state for you, ma'am. Insert yourself into every situation you can. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great, Allie. I know you're Good saying to yourself... You. I know you're saying to yourself, boy, this is a debacle. <laughs> Let's try one more, Allie. We're oh, going to get Josh God. back to his happy place in a second. <laughs> Dear Allie, my best friend cheats on her boyfriend fairly often and always wants me to cover for her. I'm usually totally fine with it, but now she's cheating with another one of our friend's boyfriends, and I know I'm going to get caught in the middle. What should I do? Oh, my God. Move. Find <laughs> <laughs> new, uh, right, new friends. Yeah, right. Yeah, this, is a, this, is a, this is a classic no win. Uh, yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Wow. Try to remove yes. yourself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, ex ex stay out of it in Ugh. every way you can. Well, I'm not going the to truth. lie for you anymore. <laughs> the husband says spill the beans to everybody. Like, yeah. you screwed me for the last time. <laughs> I'm letting it all out. <laughs> That way it's not your fault. Osman, I never want to wrong you. <laughs> no. Never, no. Ever. I'm never going to forget Hell your birthday. Hell hath no fury like an Osman scorn. That's oh. true. What? Look at the That's gleam in her right? eye and the <laughs> smile on her face. Like, wow. I go full Osmanian. Okay. <laughs> the Osmanian devil. Osmanian.
Which leads us to our toilet seat update. Okay. Adolf Hitler's personal toilet seat from his mountain hideaway has sold for $19,000 at auction. Oh. The bizarre Second World War relic sparked a bidding frenzy between collectors flush with cash oh. at a sale in Maryland. Did they, I didn't who, write who that, wrote of course. flush with cash? Oh. That's oh. Been done. oh, you would have done the same thing. No. Yes. There's a song the about Hitler's. remains anonymous. Song about Hitler's bitter. toilet, isn't there? Hitler only had one ball cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's like we're all watching a documentary. What was that? <laughs> Jesus. The, the ball cock is part it, of a toilet. Toilet it's seat. Part it's of the toilet. The back and the yeah. yeah it can't get any quieter in here. <laughs> wow. Didn't we have a Didn't we have a story about the world's quietest room? Remember that? <laughs> we, we, just, we just got. I heard my own heartbeat for that. <laughs> I thought you were going to do the old joke, adding the S before oh, Hitler. No, oh no, you, you decided to. Uh, you know what? I decided to go my own yeah, way. Yeah, ballsy. And, uh, and for, for those of you that know a little bit about a little bit about plumbing, the uh, the ball cock is part we, of the. We have to hear that again. <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> oh, that was the actual funny. winning bid: eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. If you want to be accurate. Have you seen the picture of Hitler's toilet? I have, and it's all cracked and. No, it looks brawn. New. Oh, oh, new. That gets something. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, you're already kind of vulnerable because you're singing. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 oh yeah. No, I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> You're already vulnerable. Oh, you need to give yourself a break. Adolf used to, Adolf used to <laughs> hear, hear Ava Braun bitching. Oh, my God. <laughs> give me a courtesy flush <laughs> or you'll see mind Fuhrer. <laughs> oh. I mean, at least he's having fun. Yeah, huh? he, was, yeah. he, was, he was a vegetarian, right? Yes. Yeah. So you can only imagine the odor. I mean, that's a well-known fact. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's why vegetarians always have candles. <laughs> What? <laughs> he's, he's bizarre blanket statement. I don't even know what I, he's trying you to do. Don't even acknowledge it, Chick. He believes what he's saying. Of course he does. <laughs> he always does. Man, it's it's yourself. He is having a good time. <laughs> he's in a bad mood. Well, between the vegetation and the vegetarianism and sure, uh, yeah. And the hate and the amphetamines. Hitler never saw a solid stool. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, let's see now. Oh, got another letter from another coming letter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we had the ball cock story. We have to have a coming. Uh, we hear the ball cock <laughs> Hello, story. goofballs. I live 20 minutes from Cumming, Georgia. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, believe it or not, the swim team in Cumming is called the Waves. No. Yep, their swim team is called the Cumming Waves. Oh, boy. I, mean, I couldn't live cool. in or near this town. I would be giggling constantly. <laughs> <laughs> if I passed it on the highway, I'd turn around and This is from again. Shannon. She writes, you can get a license plate frame that says, I heart Cumming. Okay. Hmm. Who doesn't? <laughs> sure. Even the worst one I had was amazing. <laughs> just nonstop laughing. I've never been there, but I'm sure it's very nice. Well, you'll get there one day, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't been with the right driver. I sort of kind of figured that. Get to the right driver. Oh, really? Never, never really. Yeah. 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 Sadie left a bunch of tools here. Uh, I think, I meant think the Josh city stole all the tools. tools. Uh, by the way, we had... I um, didn't take uh, but three. No, we had, we, we had uh, Sadie Allison uh, fr from... Um, Tickle, Tickle Kitty. Kitty. Tickle Kitty. Yeah, TickleKitty.com had left us a bunch of the uh, the uh, adult toys. Why is it called Tickle Kitty, do you think? Is that a euphemism? I couldn't. I didn't get that either. Oh, come on. Someone guys. already had the other one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> the, the point is, <laughs> after the show was over, I I noticed that all the toys were gone, but the boxes were also here with the, uh, with the charging kits. So whatever you guys walked out with... You probably don't have the charger, so... Uh, hmm. Well, she said they all use standard charging things. Yeah. So you probably have one laying around your house. USB and a standard uh, input. That's not at all awkward. Someone walks in, you've got your laptop hooked up to a 12-incher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The oh, boy. Is that a Mac? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, it's the big Mac. <laughs> That's the big boy. You know, the one toy that was left, I noticed on the um, credenza out here, was no, yeah, was the wrench looking thing? <laughs> oh, I thought Oske walked. Oh, I should. Oh. <laughs> One day I'll See, get none the of you guys. I thought Oske had fallen mean, in love with that thing. <laughs> you mean Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Oske, that's right. Oh. You mean the man who can control what Scene. goes on the TV? Yes. No, don't. Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> okay.
discussing. Let's go uh, ahead and wrap oh, up. Oh, 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 we are, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Well, Hi, Donnie. Well, hi, Donnie. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Who wants to hear any more about the Eagles quarterback getting laid off again? I swear to God. <laughs> but what's worse than that, here at work, they got us taking all these um, sexual harassment classes like it's part of our employment. You yeah. have to. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're doing them here too, Donnie. Yep. So everybody at the company has to take it. We had to watch a bunch of videos of like real hot, but like soft porn skits in them. <laughs> Have you ever taken... You take, so I'm surprised you had to, Christy. How are you going to sexually harass somebody anyways? Well, it can be done. Well, everybody knows it's impossible for a woman to sexually harass a man. Is it? Because like um, Kissinger said, you can't harass the willing. You know? <laughs> well. The, the problem with this sexual harassment stuff is what these uh, work experts, what they consider harassment, I consider paying a chick a compliment. <laughs> I mean, it, where does the compliment end and the harassment begin? No. <laughs> like, why can't I tell Crystal an accountant that seeing her in that tight turtleneck made me want to have tater tots last week? <laughs> Lord God. <laughs> and why is it wrong to ask Top Heavy Heather on the loading dock if I can take her sweater puppies for a walk sometime? Well, that, yeah, why is that, that wrong? That's uh, very, very I mean, no. The fact remains, all this harassment talk honestly just comes down to one thing, and that's if the chick likes you or not. Because if she likes you, then what you're saying is called a compliment. If she don't like you, then it's called harassment. <laughs> and if she really hates you, then it's called a restraining order. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> I've always found it to be a good rule of thumb that I don't compliment any chick at work that ain't hit on me first, regular. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had a few dozen jobs over the years, and never once, you know, did I even get one compliment or even a complaint locked against me <laughs> to my face. And and I nailed chicks at each and every one of them jobs. Oh, you know? classy. <laughs> even though Josh, the embroidered name tag on my jacket at Quickie Lube said Wade. <laughs> <Or Josh. laughs> so here's my point. If you ever do got take one of them online sexual harassment classes, mm -hmm. what I do is, and this stays between me, you, and that fence post. What I do is I open another window on my screen. They're none the wiser. And next to the class, that way I could take the class off the same time browsing MILFs and cuckoo porn. Cuck <laughs> <Where to> go? <laughs> Plus, I find that cracking a beer or two helps the class go by way faster. Really? And it all just depends, Christy, on how cool the lady is who's running the library that day. <laughs> now, actually, I better run now. It looks like Jenna is about ready to head upstairs to the break room. Oh. And I can't be late when she squats down and hits a doggy door with her right in that vending machine for some Funyuns. <laughs> hey, Tom, is soulmate one or two verbs? I'll hang up and listen to your answer. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Got surprise time. I know you guys uh, love surprises. Oh, my God. And, um, the phone's on hold. The phone is uh -oh. on hold oh, because, no. ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a very no, no, special no, no, guest no. Uh, no. joining. Will the mystery guest please uh, just say hello, Bob and Tom Show? Hey, uh, Bob and Tom Show. Oh. <laughs> Greg yeah. Warren again. It's, uh, it's comedian Greg Warren. Um, and, uh, Greg, uh, we've been talking about you this morning. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that you guys have been talking about me, uh, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. We had a news story, Greg, about a flute, a $22,000 flute, uh, reunited with its owner after being found at a Chicago pawn shop. Um, the owner of the flute had um, uh, left it, apparently, on a uh, train. And it was found uh, on the bench of a train, or as I uh, like to say, sitting on a train bench. Congratulations. Don't you dare laugh at that. I can't Greg, believe don't Greg's laughing. Laugh what a laugh. kiss ass. I'm going to laugh at that. I'm going to laugh at that because I heard that, that everybody was saying horrible things about me on that show. That's not true. I was, I was and, defending you, Greg. And I seriously was, I was going through the list, and I got to tell you, I can't believe I'm saying this. I think the only guy that might have stuck up for me was Tom. <laughs> That's correct. My yeah. iced tea drinking pal. I, uh. I was like, well, it's certainly not Christy because she stole me down the river before. I caught her doing hey, it. Wait that a minute. Her. I did that one time and I'm going to be labeled for life. F Greg Warren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just promoted uh, your special and everything. Said how much I liked it. What was the special it. called again? 
where the field corn yeah. grows. Where the blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And, 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 uh, and a cash grab. That, that is available on Amazon, is that correct? Amazon Prime, yes. Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Okay. They, they, they might as well take the Prime off now. <laughs> Well, Amazon, uh, anything. Is now, uh, Greg, it's my, it's, my understanding, friend, it's my understanding you have been uh, a booked to be a guest on our show coming up. Oh, jeez. Um, so we'll, I'm well, sure. Well, I, I was considering it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll certainly look forward to that. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's a, it, that's a yeah. Saturday morning, right? Okay, yeah. great. Looking forward to it. Yeah, you're going to want to Yeah, no, on. that's what that's what Jess said. She said, calling it Saturday. And I was like, I, I didn't think they were on Saturdays. She said, make sure to call in early. So I got, I got everything set up. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, uh, it seems weird. I didn't know you guys were doing Saturday shows. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're our first And she said, I got to be there in person? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. 5A for the detox. <laughs> yeah. But we like you to stay... Bye, Stay in- 5 a.m. on Saturday morning and in, in person. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, you stay in the parking lot. Call us from your car is what we like to have happen. Yeah, if the phone keeps ringing, uh, just keep trying. Just keep trying. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what Jess said. She said that <laughs> that means there's a lot of action going on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So it's going to be a good show. Okay. Yeah. We got to run, Greg. Thanks for calling. We'll talk to you in, the, in uh, real time sometime soon. That's it. That's all, all right, guys. We got to go. We got to go. Bye, Greg. Good to see you, man. Come on. What else have you got over there, Christine? A video of a virtual court hearing in Texas has gone viral. Boy, this is barely amusing. After an oh, attorney no, joined the wrong. call with a cat filter enabled. This thing is so funny. In the so video, funny. a Zoom filter makes the attorney appear to look like a fluffy little white kitten oh, whose yeah. eyes and mouth Boy, move while the attorney speaks. Rolling in the aisles over here. Now this, uh, let me, <laughs> it's pretty cute. Uh, before you pollute this with uh, your... With, with the truth? With your, with your, with your knee jerk, <laughs> this guy's kid must have put this cat filter so it looks like this beautiful little white kitten. And when this guy moves his eyes trying to figure out how to turn it off in a, in a court situation. <laughs> he the- tells Judge Roy Ferguson, I'm here. I'm not a cat. Oh, the short you're not? clip ends with Ferguson trying to coach the attorney on how to remove the cat filter. Ferguson later tweeted, quote, these fun moments are a byproduct of the legal profession's dedication to ensuring that the justice system continues oh, to function in these tough times. I'll tell you what I'd like to do, Josh. Yeah. For every time this was shared yesterday, I'd like you to donate a dollar to your favorite charity. Oh, I, oh okay. So because... 20 uh, million. People who share stuff like that are going to share stuff like that. I can't control it, but I can tell you... Not very funny. <laughs> can you turn up the zoom volume on that, Ace? I think we can hear the the, the cat. Uh, I believe you have a filter turned on in oh. the video. <laughs> he does have a filter <laughs> on. Okay, that's not <laughs> necessary. We're trying to. We're tr- can you hear me, Judge? <laughs> oh, I can hear you. I think it's a filter. You see, cats and don't really talk in real life, and this one looks like it is. <laughs> oh, that's that, that's that, that's sarcasm. We can all tell oh. that you don't. And he's a lawyer and supposed to be serious? Josh, for some reason, you're talking in the same voice that you use when you told me how much you love the movie Elf. And I'm starting to believe that. Okay, you can turn it off. You guys are simple. You know that? You're simple if you like that. If you you think that's... If you laugh out loud at that, <laughs> you're a lesser person. You're dumb. Oh, you see, Josh, goodness. that's uh, what that's doing is Chick pointed out the other two attorneys mm-hmm. who appear in it are absolutely humorless. Oh, yeah. Because They're- it's not funny. Nothing funny is happening in that. <laughs> well, okay, so if that was like uh, Jerry Lewis's face. Still not funny. It's still, it's still not funny. Occasionally filters get misused. Okay. Okay, so I think that did you watch the whole thing? Oh, boy, I mean, I've watched it 20 times. I couldn't take it. Because <laughs> oh, you, so you saw the end where the cat was convicted of perjury. Hey! Oh. I mean, now, now we're getting to some humor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Take it out of a hole now. Well, and also, well, there was, uh, it, there, it wasn't the cat's fault. There was uh, some clause that the, oh, the contract uh, the uh, cat uh, didn't uh, understand. That's a good feline you got yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We could probably do a feature every day of Naked in the News, because it happens all the time. Naked in the News. Yeah, and people like to get naked. It's a fun thing to do. Meth is a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Does it make you harny, or does it make you hot? Um, Meth? Our, our police officer both. friend said hot. Yeah. Both, kind of both. yeah. But yeah, there's, hot and, there, it's terrible. And confined though. feeling, maybe? Huh. 
Remember we had the... Oh, squirmy? Yeah, I hate I want to say it was a TV news story out of Dayton, Ohio, mm -hmm. and they were doing that on-the-scene thing. They were. And the person was doing the, and today... And then they there was a bust of some meth thing, <laughs> and, a, and a cop walks by carrying a box and dangling from the box. <laughs> is quite literally like a three-foot dildo. Yeah, it's very big. And, and, and it <laughs> kind of went viral. It's just substantial enough to kind of wave around in the wind. Uh, yeah, you can... It was beautiful. Certainly notice it. So we started getting a lot of phone calls from uh, law enforcement folks <laughs> telling us about some yeah, of the incredibly <laughs> unusual things they discover when the, the unfortunate folks in the world of meth. A lot of nudity. But um, this headline is, A man arrested for trespassing naked through neighbor's backyard. A man from Cumming, Georgia, C-U-M-M-I-N-G, uh -huh. has been arrested for trespassing naked through a neighbor's yard. Mm -hmm. According to the Forsyth Herald, a resident spotted seeing a nude man in their security camera in early January. He then allegedly committed a lewd act oh. on, on the victim's front porch before leaving. I wonder what that was. By the way, the, uh, the <laughs> same fellow apparently had... Uh, participated in a similar activity before, so... You think okay. he completed right there on the front porch? I'm guessing, sadly. I'm... You can't stop the man from coming, walking in your backyard nude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just try and stop the man from coming. He's gonna do something lewd. <laughs> he came on your porch and left a present. They got it on video. <laughs> Caught in the act, the coming man. Now off to jail he goes. They finally stop the man from coming. He bears a heavy load. <laughs> Georgia dude, the man from coming, doesn't know if he comes or goes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, the God, when you first heard that story, did your eyes just light up? <laughs> Two yeah. M's. Yeah. Two the man M's. for coming. Yeah, that's, all that story was missing was here, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, Here's it's, a present for you. Do you want to give us a little sports preview, or do you want to go sure. right to Willie's, well, Willie's gambling oh, oh. Uh, issues? Well, I want to check in with uh, Willie. It seems that he uh, a, has a, a gambling problem just beginning yeah. uh, to start and wreck his life. So we're, in the, we're, we're very fortunate. We're here right at the beginning. Now, uh, did you bet often or uh, every play, or what were you doing on Super Bowl? <laughs> I did a lot of prop bets, ah, and fun, I, did, I did a lot of... Uh, they have these really cool live bets, so you can bet on what's going to happen this drive. I love oh, that. Yeah, that is so much this fun. This drive or this play. Right? Yeah, and so yeah. I, I had some, some payoff with that when, when there was a rut happening, when there was a lot of punting and a lot of special team stuff. I said, <laughs> hey, this is the drive. Uh -huh. They're going to score a touchdown here. They did. I got $26. Wow. So, yeah, pretty now, let's, let's look at the, uh, at the grand horizon here. When the day was done, what was the total uh, win or lose? Oh, I'm up. Oh, really? I am, really? I'm up yeah. like... I'm up like four hundred fifty dollars. Why? Because Chick said he well, heard he heard you'd bet the uh, the wrong side of the coin flip. Well, there's a lot of prop bets, and so you're gonna, <laughs> when you got a lot of action going, you're going to lose some money. You got to lose some to make some. That's right. You got to be up. Make money to win money. The Have big, money to make money. I had a three way parlay. Uh, Tampa Bay winning money line. The under. So total total points. Everybody under fifty five and a half. Nice. And then Gronk scoring a touchdown at any time. Wow. Oh, cool. Good yeah. For you. Good so bet. I got. That's, that's a lot of fun. I bet twenty five to win. 270 on that one. So that was fun. Yeah. That's real cool. Wow, that's nice. What was the biggest loss you had? Biggest loss? I, I, I didn't bet anything over 50 bucks. So it's like, nice that uh, it's nice that Tom enjoys this. Uh, the, he always wants to know about the loss, even <laughs> with yeah. his children. And then he chuckles. How much yes. did you lose? No, I was just curious. No, he, he, You're I'm never glad. happy when people are happy. I'm glad he won. I lost 50 bucks on Tyreek Hill scoring the, one touchdown in each half. This is okay. And, and the, is this one that involved the coin flip? You had tails. Right? I had tails because, of course, tails never fails. Everyone knows that. Tails never fails. Playground rule. Better. It was, it, did this it was I had tails also, Willie. Yeah. Tails never fails. <laughs> it was it was heads. Again, uh Apparently it does. Oh, it will. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. No you see wins. this? You see how he's treating me? I said yeah. I'm up. I said I was happy and things oh, are going I well. What no, if I, when I, I come I'm in, I say I'm down. I'm very happy that you won. I'm just you I was curious. You don't understand. Uh, as my uh, therapist told me uh, one time, you know, it wasn't you. Your mother would have treated any child <laughs> this way. And I, <laughs> I cast that same spotlight on Tom. I That's it was really me. interesting. I, yeah. I, I don't think it's true. I but, thought it was uh, me. Oh, it is my fault. <laughs> I thought it was me and he treats so there. Yeah. 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 Y
with one side. <laughs> sure. What do you mean? You do think it was me? What are you talking about? Oh, no, I, I know that, that that theory is well established uh. and recently debunked by, of course, one but of the authorities. But you remember the on, furniture guy in... Uh, in oh, yeah. Yeah, he bet uh, 3.4 uh, million, million dollars on the Buccaneers plus three and a half. So he wins that one... $2.7 million on the Super Whoa. Bowl. And it turns out... Uh, I, that I'm, was, I'm trying, wasn't it... Uh, but there was something about what his customers, if they purchased a that was bed, to hedge got the his, money back. Or his how, did, how did it work? He was running at his mattress stores. Customers who spent $3,000 or more at Mattress Back would get a full refund if the Bucks simply won the Super Bowl. And they did. And the mm -hmm. customers did. And he says it was a big win for me and for my business. Oh, I, would, I, I would love to have an accountant to analyze how this works. Uh, I guarantee they, I his bet books. His, he's good. He's, yeah. He is set. He, uh, everybody, yeah, more than $3,000. Of course, a lot of people didn't. and But he still had a lot of business. He says he's way up. Does everyone get this deal, or is it sort of a gamble where, where he goes, by the way, if you want, you get this mattress for free as long as the Bucks win? All it or says does everybody is get this? if a customer who spent $3,000 or more at Mattress Max would get a full refund if the Bucks won the Super Bowl. It doesn't wow. it, what, Man. Yeah, they, Some they won't just, go back for it. Yeah. Just, there will just be some people who don't do it. Right. Many will. With three, and, uh, three grand, a, I would think you would But does he have to pay right, the right. taxes on that before he starts distributing? I, I don't know. That's a fair question. Tom, I guarantee I, that he did the numbers. And, and I don't know what he was wearing when he made the bet <laughs> or if he has any dogs just, or just, what he that's had That's a fun record. promotion. As a uh, taxpayer, I was just curious if he's paying his fair I guarantee share. guarantee he is. Okay. Well, who's not going to buy a bed next year? Yeah, you know? right. Yeah. I, well, that's the promotional value of this. Right. Sure. Uh, apparently, he's done this with other sports as well. So, uh, what's his name? Is it like Mattress Mac? Mac in Mac. Vale. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, we have I have some, some big news. Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. Today oh. is no. Oh. Oh. Today is National Pizza Day. Oh my goodness! Oh. It's a pizza it's time. It's a pizza time. We have a tribute. We do. We have a tribute coming up. I understand. I don't know much oh my about goodness. it. But, uh, yeah, That's awesome. Hang in there. Okay. I'm so excited. I get to have pizza for lunch today. <laughs> Well, since it's Taco Tuesday, you've got to have it for lunch. Right. Well, you could have tacos for lunch and pizza for dinner. Exactly. Uh, there was a time when you could get a Mexican, Mexican pizza. pizza. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. But, uh, <laughs> Josh, I, I hate to tell you this, but you wanted your Mexican pizza, and I really wanted my uh, Fiesta potatoes. They they brought back my potatoes. I'm, which I'm thrilled to hear about. There are I, a lot of people that love that. So. I Thank you for being for, for giving it to me, but I feel so sorry for you, man. Oh, no, it's all right. I I've made peace be, with it. Me and you would be coming back together. We'd be riding our horses back into the sunset going, <laughs> we have it. I didn't understand the tragedy that was discontinuing Mexican pizza, but I'd never had uh, so one good. until I, I, in fact, I had a couple. And uh, yeah, it, it right before truly, they went away, it is truly a biggest tragedy. mistake oh. since Seward's Folly. I think. Yes, and New Coke, I think they always say. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and are they going to do what McDonald's does and bring it back seasonally? Do you uh, think? It doesn't matter to me. They're dead. <laughs> oh, they're dead to you? Yeah. Okay, really. That's fine. completely uh, unreasonable, but fine. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Taco Bell's earnings dip for first quarter <laughs> due to Jay Arnold? <laughs> Wacky DJ. Now, what was, your, what was your special eating trick? Oh, on that one, I would get no pizza sauce plus sour cream. But when you would order it on the phone or whatever or at the drive through Well, Taco Bell, <laughs> often uh, I would get home in the bag from Taco Bell, there would be three or four forks in the bag. and I, They assumed. Yeah, I mean, well, they thought this was for a family. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.